Hey guys, welcome to Stampin' with Alicia. Today starts the mini series for the Basket Bunch that's in the Occasions catalog. Here it is up close. Um, all the stamps except for this little one and then the little feet and then the grass right here come with coordinating framelits. Now remember if you purchase the stamp set and the framelits you do save 10%. But this set is so cute. Great for Easter cards, but also spring cards because you have some flowers. Um, so you can, you know, use it for spring, a thank you card. It doesn't have to specifically be used for Easter. So I don't have a sample card for you today. We're just going to make a card and go for it. But the supplies I'm going to use are, I have my watercolor pencils. I used my square framelits, layering framelits, to cut out a peekaboo peach and a whisper white. And then this is a piece of DSP from the Carried Away Lift Me Up um, DSP you could earn for free with a $50 purchase. And you have until the 31st of this month to earn this paper pack for free. And I have explained it in previous videos, so I will link um, above here if you're interested in seeing more of the paper and then I have a whisper white card base some scrap watercolor paper and then some scrap crumb cake and then I will tell you my inks that I'm using as we go now I just wanted to kind of show you up close so you get 29 stamps which are all pictured here. It's kind of easy to, easier to see this here. And then here are the framelits. And look how many framelits you get. You get the bow, the bunny, eggs, the stems for the flowers, the Easter basket, and then you get double layering. So you get this piece of the basket plus the solid piece. Then you get some grass. You get the two chickies, a little peep, carrot, leaves, eggs, bunny, and... Um, the chocolate bunny, but then the little cute little Easter bunny. And on the eggs, you have your solid, but then you have three layering uh, framelits that you can layer on your egg. So it has this pattern. So really cool. Um, great amount of product for the price. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, what I'm going to do first is I have crumb cake ink and my basic black. I'm going to go ahead and stamp up my Easter basket in crumb cake onto crumb cake just for some tone on tone make sure I get a good impression I'm going to use my piercing mat and then I'm going to take the handle and do the same All right, put this aside. Next, I'm gonna take my basic black and I'm gonna go ahead and ink up my little bunny. And I'm gonna ink him up a couple times just in case I mess up. I'm gonna take the carrot stamp next and ink up the bottom portion in basic black because I'm going to color it with my watercolor pencils, but I don't want the top, the little stem in basic black, so I'm going to bring in garden green and attempt to kind of stamp the image in two different colors at once. So we'll see how that goes. First, I'm going to do the bottom part, and I'm just using the edge of my stamp pad to ink it up in black, and then come in and do the top. I inked up quite a bit of carrots and I probably won't use them all, but I will have extras. So I'm going to bring in another piece of scrap paper and I've decided I want to go ahead and use the bow and I'm going to go ahead and bring in my basic black and just, I'll stamp a couple bows just in case I mess up. And now I'm going to take my watercolor pencils and I'm going to color my carrots. And I'm using pumpkin pie, which is my favorite. 
in the watercolor pencils because it is so pigmented. I'm going to sharpen it. And so I'm just going to kind of go to the side and then see how far that gets me. And then my aqua painter is not all that wet. Um, being this is such a little surface, I don't want a lot of water and I don't want to go take a chance of going outside the lines. You can heat emboss this, heat emboss your carrots in either clear or black embossing powder if you want and that will kind of create a barrier. But uh, my water brush is, is pretty dry, which is usually I have too much water on it so I made sure to kind of dry it off. And you can see just how easily the, the water moves, the watercolor pencil blends out with just a little bit of water. And I'm not pressing too hard uh, with my watercolor pencil and I kind of go to circular motion. Um, my experience is that when I do kind of move in a circular motion, it blends better. Um, that's just me. You know, it just is kind of trial and error, whatever works best for you. And I've also learned not to work, work the color too much. Um, once it blends out, kind of just leave it alone. And you know, I'm still learning, so do whatever works best for you. For the little bunny, I'm going to take Melon Mambo and I'm gonna color in his little bow. And then I'm gonna do his ears, the inside of his ears. Just adding a little bit of color and then seeing how far it'll get me. Next I'm taking my basic gray and I want my bunny white but I do want to add a little bit of shadowing so I'm just adding very little gray just to kind of give it a little shadow. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my bow. And on my bow, I'm going to use Daffodil Delight. Trying to keep these more Easter colors. All right, while those are kind of drying, before I die cut them, I'm going to take my snail and I'm going to go ahead and put some of my card together. I'm going to take my DSP and adhere this to my card base. And this is an A2 size card base, so it measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And then this piece of DSP measures four by five and a quarter. And then these were just, uh, if you have the layering square dies, which I love, this was the largest scallop. And then I kind of used one of the straight um, squares. So there was a nice border. So I'm gonna, hmm, do I wanna pop this up? My basket's gonna be a little popped up. So I think I want just to go ahead and hear all this There's little smudges. So I'm gonna put this at the bottom where I know where the basket will cover it. All right, I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna go ahead and take all my pieces and die cut them out. So I will be back. All right, here are all my pieces. And this I had left over from a previous project. This is garden green cardstock and I used the grass die. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this in my basket. So. The first thing I want to do is I want to, let's see, 
I'm going to glue my handle on first of uh, on my little basket and for this I'm using my fine tip glue pen and I'm just going to add small dots and then go ahead and adhere this down and then I'm going to use my Tombow Mono glue and let me see kind of judge how far down I want this grass or how far how tall I want it just to make things easier I'm just gonna glue alright since my glue wants to spill out on me does it come out and then when it comes out it comes out in a big glop, glop. Must have been a clog in it. So just kind of use my finger then and add some glue to the grass. Then go ahead and, of course I'll be trimming most of this off, but adhere my basket down like that. And I didn't get any glue on these blades because I want them to be able to move back. So let that dry for a second before and I cut it. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my little carrots. And I'm using my fine tip glue again, and I'm just adding a dot to the bottom. And then I'll kind of tuck them behind my little basket. I'm going to take a piece of scotch tape and just, just as an extra reinforcement. No one will see this anyway. All right, then I'm going to take a bow and just glue that here. I'll save my bow for another project. Okay, then I'm going to use some stamping dimensionals and pop my little basket up. this down and I'm gonna use my sentiment thanks a bunch but I want to let me before I decide the bunny let me go ahead and ink up my sentiment for my sentiment I'm using peekaboo peach and I'm gonna ink it up in crumb cake we'll see if that is dark enough I think that'll be okay. I'm going to take my triple banner punch and go ahead and add a little fishtail to the end. Okay. I kind of like the bunny. Oh, I like the bunny in both places. Should we have two bunnies? No. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hear this down with some snail. Put it straight otherwise it'll probably bug me okay and then let's pop our bunny up I love this bunny it's so cute all right then I'm gonna take my wink Estella and I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of sparkle to his bow and then this bow And then that'll do it. Really cute card today. And it doesn't have to be for Easter. It can be a spring themed card. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. All supplies I used will be listed below. So let me know if you have any questions um, about any of the products. Also, um, 
31st of this month is when celebration ends. So if you want a chance to earn some free products, and all last week I did videos on these products, so check that out. Um, it is your last month, so with every $50 purchase, you can choose a free item. And if you're interested in joining Stampin' Up! during celebration, you get an additional two free stamp sets. So it's a great time to join. If you're going to place a big order, it's almost worth it to join. There's no commitment. You have three months or so to meet your quarterly minimum, and if you don't, you don't. And um, if you do, great, you do get a discount on Stampin' Up! products. So no pressure, no commitment, um, but a great deal. So let me know if you have any questions, and I will catch you guys tomorrow.